another video. Today is an exciting video for both you and I because I bought some stuff. There's cars coming. Let me wait for them to pass so that I can speak so you guys can hear me. So I just picked up a package right there at the post office. Well, you guys can see it. Um, so I'm gonna go run a few more errands and then I'm gonna head home and then we're gonna unbox what is in here. And I'm so excited. And yeah, let's let's just do it. We're almost going home, my lovelies. So I'm just about done here. I'm gonna actually go ahead and head home now. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to get these guys out of that box and into the aquarium. It's gonna be awesome. And people are watching me like vlog and this is like really weird I hate oh, there's someone behind me <laughs> yeah I'm gonna stop recording now all right you guys so I'm finally home and yeah let's go ahead and get these out of the box I'm kind of nervous I don't know why last time I ordered something for here um, it didn't go so well so yeah I hope everything's alive and well. Okay, so so far I'm pretty impressed with the packaging. I mean, the fact that it was so hard for me to get to this. This is like a little workout for me. I'll get that later. Ta-da! Uh-oh, we have water. A lot of water. Okay, so first up. So this right here is a coral banded shrimp. And it's alive, so that's that's good. <laughs> Very pretty. These are oh, I don't know. Okay, they're alive. <laughs> so these are two turbo snails. I'm not sure about these guys these are two starfish but this one I think has been out of the water for a while let's let's hope they're okay okay I see movement so this is a ginormous brittle star I can see him better from here look at that guy awesome humongous compared to the one I already have these are um, these are some more hermit crabs. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight hermit crabs. So this is some macro algae. This I actually got for free as a gift. And in there you can see a emerald crab. A little tiny crab. And I found the bag that's leaking. No, okay. So this is another brittle star. This one's just as big but darker in color. And it's moving, so that's good. Okay, so yeah, everything seems to be okay except I'm not so sure about the orange starfish. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and acclimate them. I'm gonna actually dump everything in here and then slowly drip some tank water into here and yeah, you guys will see. So these are the hermit crabs. Mm, cute. Okay, so this is the macroalgae and the emerald crab. There's two of them. I only expected one. So these are the two turbo snails. 
Okay, so the water is actually really fouled up, so I'm only going to add the snails in. Now I'm going to add one of the brittle stars. So here's the other one. So now the orange starfish. And I saw them moving, well one of them, so um, it looks like they're okay. They're both moving, so that's good. And last but not least, we have the little shrimp dude. So here he is, or she. So here's the end of the tubing, and now I'm just gonna tie a knot really tight. I'm just gonna start the suction with my mouth. And I want like one drop per second, so that's a little fast. So I'm gonna tighten up the knot. And yeah, that's good enough. So I'm just gonna let it chill there. And we're gonna have to let this go for about two hours and then we'll be back. So it's been about two hours, two and a half hours, somewhere around there. And I'm gonna go ahead and measure the salinity in the aquarium and also in here so i'm gonna go ahead and measure it here first and if it doesn't match up then we're gonna keep acclimating longer i'm just gonna drop a few drops of water in here and i'm gonna shine this at a light source so as you can see the salinity here is at around 125 which is where i keep it in the main tank but just to be sure i'm gonna go ahead and measure it over there now I'm going to drop a few drops of that water in here, close it, and now we're going to point it at a light source. The salinity is exactly the same in here and in there, so we are good to transfer the inhabitants in there now. I'm going to go ahead and start scooping up some animals. Let's start with this one over here. Uh oh, there we go. And now we're gonna place her up here. We're gonna submerge and then drop to the bottom. Oops. Now we're gonna do the other one. Now I'm gonna get started on the brittle stars. Okay, this guy is huge and awesome. Check out his size. And he lost a little bit of his tentacle there during shipping. But other than that, he looks great. I'm gonna do the other brittle star. They kind of feel like snakes. Like if you guys are wondering what they feel like, they feel like a snake. And they kind of look like snakes too. So I guess it fits. Whoa, this guy's awesome too. Humongous. Look at that pretty pattern. It has really awesome like stripes 
and you guys see it has kind of like it looks like scales like skin texture i guess that's why it feels like a snake Now I'm gonna go ahead and add both of the emerald crabs in. I don't wanna get pinched. I've been pinched by crabs before and it hurts. There we go. So here's the bigger one. And here's the other one. Now I'm gonna do the shrimp. Ow, it's pinching me. Ow. Surprisingly powerful for such a little thing. So here's a quick close up of this guy. Last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and add all eight hermit crabs and both of the turbo snails. I wanna give you guys a good close up like before I add them in. As for the macro algae, I'm not really sure where I want it, so for now I'm just gonna kind of place it on some of the rocks. Yeah, that looks good for now. So it has been eight days since the unboxing. Everyone pretty much adjusted. So I finally finished and oh my god, my hand like hurts. Let's go ahead and do some feeding. There we go, it grabbed it. Oh my god, you guys, it's eating. Okay, this is just like way too exciting. <laughs> there we go, oh my god, no. no. As you can see, there's no corals in there and that's because